Joining me now is Professor Ray Liu, the president of IEEE, to discuss the challenges, applications, and future of wireless sensing. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for ha having me. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. So tell us about wireless sensing. How does it work? Wireless sensing is about using the existing ambient wireless way among us, not just for communication, but we can use that to detect human motion, human activity, in order to make our life better. Uh, can you tell us in detail about uh, exactly how it works? For example, when nobody at home, your Wi-Fi can become a sensor. And then when suddenly some people show up, we can detect the motion that can provide security for our home. And if you are sleeping, we can pick up your breathing. From there, we can monitor your sleeping to determine it's a good sleep or not good. For elder person, that when they have a fall, we can detect if there's a fall or not. Most importantly, there are many child die inside a hot car. Mm. They die because their parents forgot them. So we can use the Wi-Fi, existing Wi-Fi inside a car to detect any children forgot in the car. Mm. No children need to die in a hot car. It is that powerful. Wow, yeah, and such a wide range of uses yes. as well. And how is AI used in wireless sensing? We, we all say Alexa is uh, AI because it makes sense of speech. Mm. Face recognition, computer vision, makes sense of video and image. We, while they're sensing, we make sense of radio, ambient radio wave. Mm. So that is an AI. But in order to make sense this uh, radio ambience, uh, this uh, radio wave, we need to have some analytic uh, 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 algorithm to be able to understand it. That is the AI. I see. Thank you. And uh, what, are what are the potential game-changing uh, applications for this technology? This technology is a game-changer. We don't need to wear anything. Not wearable. Ambient radio wave is among us. From there, we can protect our life. We can improve our life. And by the way, we can even navigate and track people indoor. The application is unlimited. Just for example, recently, uh, my company working with this light bulb company. Light bulb is everywhere. It can provide energy management. And also the light bulb everywhere can be used to monitor and improve our life. It will be an endless game changer. Wow, it does sound like it. And there's a lot of promise in wireless sensing technology, but what are some of the obstacles to overcome? The main obstacle is this. This is, some, this is a technology that is so new. When you have a new technology, people are afraid of it, mm. especially uh, the privacy issue. Uh, when we have a new technology, it offers uh, a game-changing application. Nevertheless, it also comes with some ethical issue. Mm. How can we, at the same time, when we improve life, we also protect privacy? And we will not intrude privacy. So that is something that we need to educate the user. This is safe. It's even better than camera because we are not watching. Mm, I see. And finally, how is IEEE contributing to the development of a sustainable uh, symbiotic city? All right. Look, when we have a new technology, in order for that to be used worldwide, we need a standard. So I have been talking to IEEE, a standard organization, to start this a new standard on wireless sensing. So indeed, IEEE is working with many companies around the world to create a standard for wireless sensing. When that comes, wireless sensing will be just like wireless communication, will be everywhere, and that can improve life everywhere all over the world. Wow, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, thank you for having me.